Holds just under 70,000 spectators, and they've come out in full force for this one. A fantastic atmosphere here in Minneapolis. On to get us started now, the kicker, Chris Boswell. And we are underway from downtown Minneapolis. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. They'll start the drive with a carry by Jones. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they wouldn't move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. Got it here at the 29 on second and eight. Darnold. This one swung out here to Jones. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. Now third down is looming. A pickup of two on first down and just one yard there. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. A tough spot here on their opening drive. This is third and seven. Darnold now to throw. Pass complete to Addison. And he will have a Vikings first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. This is a nice job of just taking what the defense is going to give you on third down. You're not looking for a big play downfield. You just want to find something that can get you past the marker. They found it and were able to keep the drive moving. Here's Darnold. It's caught inside the 25. Touchdown, Vikings. Justin Jefferson, 61 yards. And the Vikings get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. But Charles, here in their opening series, they said they had certain plays scripted for certain players. That looked like a well-designed play to get one of their top targets involved. Yeah, let's face it, Brandon. A player of his talent is a problem for any opponent to defend, and we saw it right there. They tried to deny an open lane to him. He still outplayed the coverage and scored the only touchdown. Good luck trying to figure out how to defend him as this game moves on. Minnesota's kick team ready, and the Vikings boom it away. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. First carry for Najee Harris. And he tries to power forward, but he will not get back to the line of scrimmage. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Harris. And room to run as he's up past the 35-yard line. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Now Wilson. Here's one deep for Pickens. That's going to be knocked away. Incomplete. It almost feels like anything you can do, we're going to try and match or do better. We've already seen one touchdown pass from the opposition. They tried to equal it on that throw. They run for it with Harris. Pushing his way through. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 
A curious decision to go for it, but it pays off with a first down. Backed up where they were on this side of the field. That was a gutsy call. A gutsy call that never should have happened. Not so much them going for it. That's their decision. But where's the defensive front? Where's the leverage? Where's the low man wins? Where's getting into the offensive backfield and spilling the play? How did they permit them to pick up a first down in that situation? Now a quick throw into the hands of Jefferson. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. Now run straight ahead with Warren. They'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Now it's Wilson. Pass complete. George Pickens with it. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings 40. 12 yards that time at a Pittsburgh first. Solid opening drive so far, Charles. They've moved this football into field goal range, but you know that they want to cap this off with six and not three. Absolutely. As one of the better coaches in the league always tells me, on offense, I want to throw body blows all game long and finish it with uppercuts. Well, here are the body blows right now. He's hoping one uppercut will take care of the end of this drive. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. The defense was ready for the run pass option, diagnosed it perfectly. Not only did they stack him up at the point of attack, but he was met by a host of light-colored jerseys. And the Vikings are going to beef up their secondary here. Six DBs on third. Here's Wilson. That is caught. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. On the give, it's Warren. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two. And it brings up second down. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Throw left side, taken in by Jefferson. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. After one, 7 0 on EA Sports. Steeler football here to begin quarter number two as they go to work on a first and goal. Field's going to change things up here. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. And now the first throw for the backup quarterback. And he's going to go down just outside of the five. Six-yard line. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. Now it's Fields. That throw finds Pickens in the end zone. Touchdown, Steelers. It's a six-yard touchdown pass. And the Steelers are an extra point away from drawing level. Extra point put through by Boswell. And we are tied at seventh. 
Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense... They just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent offer a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. Ball on the 30 now. Here's second down at seven. On the counter, here's Jones. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a gain of 11 as the Vikings pick up the first. Nothing too fancy, just a carry up the middle, but a successful carry up the middle against this 3-4 defense. And to be able to do that, what do you have to control? The nose guard, right? Got to be able to move him, otherwise you're not getting in. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Well, many times when you talk about mobile quarterbacks, you get the sense that they feel like they can get out of any bad situation. They keep moving around and trying to emulate guys like the scrambler or the dodger. Instead, they keep losing yardage and losing yardage and digging themselves a hole that they can't get out of. A partner guaranteed they approach this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now it's Darnold. here as he's taken down. Alex Highsmith making the nice play and getting the sack. So on fourth down, Ryan Wright on to punt for Minnesota. A big kick there. We'll call it 56 yards on the punt. And the Steelers will go on offense here, first and 10. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. There's Wilson. They're setting up the screen, Harris. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. All knotted up at seven. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. There's Wilson to throw. And that's caught inside the 35. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. That goes for a gain of 31. Real part, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play that picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. Now a first down carry for Harris. And trying to push forward, but he is going to be stuffed up in the backfield. On second down, here's the option. And holding it may be the wrong decision as he stopped to the backfield. That'll wind up as a loss on the play, so now they're staring at a third down and 12. From the shotgun, Wilson. 
And he'll be hit as he releases it. And now fall incomplete. The defender certainly didn't forget about him leaking out of the back foot. There's a guy ready and waiting to pick him up in coverage. And that throw had no shot. Now look at this. Fourth and 12. And they're going to line up to go for it. They'll try and throw for it with Wilson. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Facing a fourth down, they come away with 18 yards and the first down conversion. A run with Harris out of the shotgun. They showed off a nice juke of the defender before the next wave could bring him down. So not quite a first and goal just yet as they come up now second and inches. They'll keep it on the ground. Harris again. Pushing and fighting his way in for a Steeler touchdown. Najee Harris as the first half is winding down. And the Steelers have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. Boswell good with the extra point. And that makes the score 14-7. to so not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. That's caught by the big tight end, T.J. Hawkinson. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. For a tight end, he's got good straight line speed, and on that route, he's often the guy that gets overlooked. Nice job there finding him in stride for really good yardage. From the 50, it's Darnold. The left side completion to Jones. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And that'll make it second down. A final shot before the break. Darnold. He'll find Jones again. Complete. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 37. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. A one-touchdown ball game. 14-7. Our scores, we get back at it on EA Sports. And no chance to get away as they get him down at about the 17-yard line. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they locked in really well. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Second and ten. Wilson. And it's 
it's a fumble, and the Vikings pick up the football. And they will take over at the 29-yard line. So that is not the way you want to begin the half when you're only up by one score, a turnover right away. And my guess is that in the locker room, that's what the defensive coordinator the other side was saying. We've got to find a way to get the football back for our offense. And they were able to do it. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and ten. They'll try and get the running game going with Jones. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Cameron Hayward getting upfield to make the stop. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Off of play action, Darnold throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. At this point in the game, in the situation they're in, partner, these incompletions that we're seeing, they need to turn into positive snaps and soon. Now Darnold. And the Steeler pressure too much here. He's going down. Multiple defenders getting home there for a loss of 11. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw up a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. And how about this? Fourth and long, and they're going to go for it. They snap it. They're going for it. Here's Darnold. And they hit him as he throws. As this one's going to go straight down to the turf. Incomplete. The Vikings unable to convert here on fourth. And this Steeler defense able to come up with a stop. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys, they're tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. Well, he's going up top for Wilson. And he backs it away and it falls down incomplete. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball. But he was unable to get away from the defender. Couldn't create space. Couldn't uncover the end of the route. And that one winds up incomplete. Harris running straight ahead. And very little daylight there. He'll get a couple up to the 44. And in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. From the gun on third down, Wilson. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started. And that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty. And before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. So here we go. The offense is going to stay out there. They're going for it on fourth and eight. They'll indeed go for it with Wilson. A rifle's one, that's going to be intercepted. Down the sideline he goes. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. So they go on fourth down. Not only do they not get it, it turns into six points the other way. Disastrous. And many people think you should just go ahead and knock it down in that situation. Turn it over for the offense. But I had a defensive coordinator recently tell me, we see that as a passive play. We don't do that anymore. We want the ball in our hands, and we want to head the other way. It's probably also instinct a lot of times. If you see a lot of green grass ahead of you, go ahead and grab it. It's exactly the right play to do. That's knowing when to break the rules and when to make a play that maybe you hadn't been taught. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Oh. 
And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. A handoff for Warren. Fighting through. And some room to maneuver. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. From Viking territory now. They'll come up first and 10 at the 34. They go play action now. Wilson flushed out right. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Complete Jefferson to target. And they eventually get to him at the 17 after a pickup of 17 into the red zone. First down. They'll run it. Warren. And he has met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Third quarter, all tied up. This is second and 10. This one brought in by Jefferson. And in for the Steelers' touchdown. Van Jefferson from 17 yards out. And the Steelers have taken the lead here in the final seconds of the third quarter. Extra point put through by Boswell. And the lead is now 21-14. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. Taken down here on the return on what will wind up being the final play of this third quarter. So both teams trade touchdowns, and the third is worth through three quarters of play. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. They now trail by seven after that last touchdown here in the fourth quarter. What a big spot for this offense. See if they can cobble something together on this drive. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And they'll get this real pass midfield before being stopped just before the 35. In motion goes the tight end. And looked like some movement there. Let's get the call. They expect this from the visiting team when playing indoors, but not the home team. They're supposed to get all the advantages, right? The home crowd's supposed to help them. They forgot where they were, perhaps. The false start backs them up five, first and 15. Here's Darnold. A throw left sideline falls incomplete. We're going to give out a little applause on that play. It has to go to the defense. More good work by them. They've taken away the passing lanes all game long, and you can see the frustration that it's causing because he just about threw that one into the first row. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Well, I think we were both wondering if we were going to see them try and push it deep downfield, facing a one-possession deficit late, and they certainly didn't disappoint. They gave it an effort. The Vikings on third down, just one for three thus far. This will be third and 15. Darnold. Got a man, it's caught inside the 10. The 
chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. Back to throw, Darnold. That one thrown away from the pocket. The officials kind of looking at each other, but they'll say there was a receiver in the area, so no penalty, just an incomplete pass. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, second and goal. On the delay, Jones. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Only a couple yards there, and that's going to set up a long third and goal. Defensively, I think they can smell a stop. Ball right around the five here brings up third. And I think what they've done is they put doubt in the minds of the offensive guys. What do we do? Because now you don't have a go-to play. Either side they pick. Throwing it, running it, it won't be easy. And they go the wrong way on this one. Losing yardage back at the 12. It'll be a loss of six yards on the play. And it'll be fourth down. And his kick is good. And that'll bring him back within four. It's an interesting call there to take the three, but I guess they're thinking that their hands were tied. But, you know, fourth quarter, that field goal might not help them that much in the end. Yeah, eventually they're going to need the touchdown. The thinking must have been they didn't feel confident about picking it up there hoping maybe on defense they can get better field position, get a turnover, get a better play, and then they have a chance to attack the end zone. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. Right now clinging to a one-score lead, Charles, and I think operating within that four-minute offense with a little less than four minutes to go applies here, right? It certainly does, and that means the playbook is still wide open. But you are a little bit more careful about what you're calling. You want plays that are going to gain yardage, how would you say, consistently, right? You don't need the big shots downfield, but make sure the clock continues to run. Pile up the first downs, and the goal in the game with your quarterback kneeling down at the end and you still have the lead. Play action. It's Wilson. That's complete to his tight end fire move. And getting this just shy of midfield. They'll spot it at the 49. Fourth quarter down to the final two minutes. And we've got a one-score game. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. Wilson escaping the pressure right to the right side and complete to Jefferson. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Well, they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. And this one right back into the hands of Jefferson. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. Here's Warren. Down to the 25. The Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. They'll run again. Well, praise has to go to the guys on the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed them down on that run, can they continue to do so? Because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game. And here's a big one now. Trying to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. and possibly a false start.
So here we go. On now is the kicker, Chris Boswell. This will get the lead up to seven. Boswell's kick is good, and that'll make this a seven-point game. Now from a defensive perspective, though, I think maybe they're saying, hey, we did what we needed to do, kept this a one-score game. Yeah, without a doubt, because they were able to bleed some time off the clock, right? Put themselves in a good position, but it's not out of reach yet, okay? Being able to hold them to a field goal means that they do have a chance to come back and win this game. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. This is first and ten. Here's Darnold. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. Picked off by Deshaun Elliott. Oh, timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. 